Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the OpenC API using the Epiphany add-on. So when you have the Epiphany add-on installed, go ahead and go to Extensions, Epiphany, and then click on Import API. When the sidebar pulls up, what we're looking at is filling in this API URL path field. So what we're going to do is we'll go to OpenC, we want to click on Resources, and then Docs, and we'll pull up this page. So when we're on this page, we want to go to API Reference here in the top. Click on that, and it'll bring us to this API Overview. So one thing I want to mention first is some of these endpoints will require an API key. However, um, collections down to collection stats do not, um, but they still are rate limited. So if you're looking to pull a lot of data, you will need an API key, or if you want to retrieve assets or events. So let me show you first where to find requesting the API key. So on this overview page, if you scroll to the bottom, it gives you a link right here that will pull up this page. And they have a Google form here to fill out email address, project name, and description, and some so forth. And at the bottom you can submit, and they will get back to you shortly with your API key. So just to get started, I'm going to show you how to pull a couple of these endpoints. Let's go ahead and start with a single collection. So it gives you an example here for Doodles Official. And over here on the right, you will see it gives you a sample request. So what we're looking for is this URL. And we also note that it has a request type of get. So let me go ahead and copy this URL. And we'll go back to our Google Sheet. And you'll see here at the top, we want that get method, which is automatically selected. And this API URL path is where we're going to paste the URL we just got. So here we have some options if you have the API key. And let's go back to our documentation here. And you can see here, headers, and we'll put this X API key. And so we put that right here. And the value will be the API key that they supply you. So we're not gonna worry about this right now. But we're gonna go ahead and we'll just go with the defaults here. And we can go ahead and click run. And it's gonna ask if we want to overwrite the target sheet, which we're in sheet one is blank, so that'll be fine. So we'll go ahead and click run and give it a second, and I'll go ahead and spit that data in here. So let's go ahead and pull up another sheet, and let's go ahead and pull another endpoint. So let's look up a single contract. So this one, we can see it requires the asset contract address. And so if we go back to OpenSea, let's go ahead and look up doodles. And so the easiest way to grab that asset address is to grab one of these individual and if we go under details, we'll see here we have contract address and token ID. So the token ID is referring to the specific token, but that contract address is right here. So if we click on this, we'll see it pops up here with that contract address. And so we can grab that. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here for safekeeping. And let's grab that endpoint. So that URL is right here. And it gives you a sample contract address, but we're going to take our new one. So just copy up to this last forward slash. We'll go back to our add-on. We're gonna delete this, put in our new endpoint, which is asset contract. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our contract address right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And I'm gonna paste it in here. So now we have our contract address and our endpoint above. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing and click run. And we'll see now we have our collection banner image URL and our other stats over there. All right, let's go ahead and grab one more here to our documentation. We'll go to single asset and we're going to go ahead and look at this URL. Let's make sure we have a different endpoint here. This one's v1 forward slash asset. And then what we have here is it gives us a little hint here. We have this asset contract address, which is what we just had, and forward slash token ID. So we'll go ahead, we'll just grab it from here this time. So this is our endpoint. We'll clear, let's just start from here. There's our contract address. I'll paste our new endpoint in there. And then the thing we need is our token ID. So if we go back to OpenSea, the token ID is right here, 3408. So we'll add that in and then forward slash to finish it off. 
And now we should be all good. We'll hit run. Again, confirm. When it finishes running, it'll pop up right here. We have our ID, number of sales, background color, image URL, and so forth as we scroll to the right. All right, so that's three endpoints right there. The others work the same way. Uh, it'll give you the endpoint right here, the instructions over here. I'll give you a sample. This will show you bundles, limit 20, and the query parameters down below. All right, that'll be it for today. Thank you guys. See you soon.